and run through a demo here of how we configure Azure API management's developer portal to use Azure AD B2C as an identity provider and then using Okta as an external identity provider in Azure AD B2C. This approach allows users with an Okta identity to log into the developer portal as an authenticated user. Uh, first, take a look at my research group. I've configured an Azure AD B2C tenant and an API management resource. Uh, the API management resource is not integrated into a virtual network. However, for the scope of this demo, that's not significant. This approach works whether or not the uh, API management resource is VNet integrated. Let's take a look at our B2C tenant. On the B2C tenant, the first thing that I did was to create an app registration. This app registration is used by API management to be able to do authentication into the B2C tenant. On the app registration, I have my application ID. I've created a client secret. So those are the two of the pieces of information I'll need when I configure the, the B2C identity provider in API management. And then under authentication, I have my redirect URIs for the developer portal. And then I've enabled the following tokens down here. Next, let's take a look at how we configure the Okta identity provider in B2C. So in my tenant, I'll go to identity providers and you can see under open ID connect, I have one configured that I created or that I called Okta. If I look at this, I have a metadata URI from my Okta tenant that points to the open ID configuration. I have a client ID and client secret from an Okta application. We'll take a look at that in a moment. I'm requesting the following scopes using an ID token and a form post, and then mapping in the following claims from Okta for user ID, display name, given name, and surname, and email. So that's how we configure the connection between Azure AD B2C and Okta. Next, we'll take a look at the user flow that I had to create in my B2C tenant. The user flow is how the login, uh, the login and sign up process works uh, for an Okta user when they try to log in through this B2C tenant. So I have one user flow here. Again, this handles both sign up and sign in events. We take a look at that. You can see under identity providers, I have this user flow configured to use the Okta identity provider. So anytime somebody with an Okta identity logs in, this is the, the flow that they'll go through. And then under application claims, I'm requesting again the following uh, claims back from Okta, email addresses, given name, surname, and then the user's object ID. And finally, we'll go back to the B2C tenant here. And I just wanna show that under users, the only user that exists right now is my external Azure AD user. This is the user that I created to, I'm sorry, this is the user that I used to uh, provision the B2C tenant. So you could think of it as an administrative user. Uh, however, you'll note that there are no Okta identities in here at this point. You'll see later when we run through an example of logging in that uh, when an Okta identity logs in, the user is automatically created in the B2C tenant. All right, next let's take a look at Okta. So this is the Okta tenant that I created. Uh, I've created an application here. This is the application that's used to configure the IDP, uh, the identity provider in the B2C tenant. Uh, when we looked at that setup, you saw that I had a client ID and client secret. This is that client ID, this is that secret. I've configured the application to allow the following grant types. And then I have a redirect URI down here that points to my B2C tenant. Next in Okta, let's take a look at users. So I've got a couple users I've created here in my in my Okta directory. Uh, this first user here, Christopher Apim Test House, is the user that we'll use when we test the the login process here in a moment. Okay, now we'll jump over to API management to see how we wire this all together. All right, so in API management, first let's take a look at the identity configuration. We'll scroll down to developer portal and under developer portal, we have identities. This is where we configure which identity providers are enabled for login to our developer portal. You can see I have only one provider listed here at Director directory B2C. If we click on that, we can see how it's configured. 
I have a client ID and client secret here. Those point to that app registration that I created in my B2C tenant. I've got the sign in tenant and authority, again, pointing back to my B2C tenant. And then I have a, a list of policies for different type of, types of events down here. So the sign up policy and sign in policy are going to point to that user flow that I had created in the B2C tenant, which we looked at a moment ago. Uh, there are also options to create policies or define policies for profile editing and password reset policy. Those would work similarly. We would just have to create user flows in the B2C tenant to support those types of interactions. So this is how we configure our developer portal to use Azure AD B2C as an identity provider. And again, remember that since B2C has a user flow defined that uses Okta as an identity provider, that, that authentication is ultimately going to get passed back to Okta. All right, next let's take a look at users under our developer portal settings. So anytime somebody signs up for a developer portal, they will have a record here in this, this user's blade. You can see right now I just have my administrative user. Once I log in with one of my Okta identities, you'll see that that user gets automatically created here and assigned to the developers group. Finally, in API management, let's take a look here at the API and product that I created. All right, so I created this conference API. Uh, it's just a demo API that has a number of operations on it. The way I'm going to expose this to users through the developer portal is by creating a product and then ensuring that that product is available only to the developers group. Uh, this will ensure that anonymous users, users that have not logged in the developer portal, won't be able to see or interact with this API at all. So we'll look at the product. I have this product here called Conference API. And if we look at the APIs that are contained in the product, you can see it contains the Conference API. And then under access control, I'm allowing access to people in the administrators and developers group. OK, so let's go ahead and test out the login experience. I'm going to go back to API management here and the overview. I'm going to copy my developer portal URL. And bring up an in private browser window to test this login. Go to sign up. So I will note that the sign in page, just like every page in the API management portal is customizable. Right now this has uh, uh, form fields, email and password. Uh, for, for a user to sign in using a local account. Since we haven't enabled the local account identity provider in the Azure API Management Developer Portal settings, uh, we could customize this page to remove those form elements. Since I want to log in using B2C, I'm going to click this button down here, Azure Active Directory B2C. I'll get a pop-up here, and this will provide me with the login to Okta. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with that, uh, that test account that we looked at earlier that I had already set up inside of Okta. The sign in was successful. I get redirected back to the home page. Now if I go to products, I can see my conference API. I can navigate into that. The, the API that's contained inside of the product. So we can navigate into the API and see all of the different operations that are contained in this API. Uh, we can click into these to get details about the specific API operation. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. So I've signed out. So now any navigation that I do in the developer portal is, is being done as an anonymous user. Let's go back to products. And you can see I no longer see that conference API listed under products because I didn't make it available to anonymous users. So let's go back to the Azure portal. And let's take a look at our users in our Azure AD B2C tenant. So I'm going to refresh here. 
I now have a new user that's been created automatically in my B2C tenant that points back to my Okta user. You can see I have my name and email address, uh, and then under source, it's other, uh, which indicates that it points back to uh, an external uh, identity provider. All right, and then we'll go back to our API management resource. Go under developer portal, and we'll take a look at users. And again, I have a user there. For the, the user that just logged in, you, again, you can see it's got my name, email address, and then it indicates that this is a B2C user. So that's the end of the demo here. Uh, again, the key takeaways here are that we can log in with Okta users uh, into the Azure API Management Developer Portal using Azure Active Directory B2C as sort of an identity integration layer, and we don't need to pre-provision users in either API management or Active, Azure Active Directory B2C. Those, uh, those pointers back to Okta are automatically provisioned when a user logs in for the first time.